Welcome back everyone, welcome to Let's Talk Overpower Ships and uh, I would like to say that there are quite a few overpower ships way way better than everything else and I'll actually only uh, speak about four of them and this is actually my to-go ship, I love this ship, it looks awesome and for someone of you who does not know uh, and does not own this ship, it's Giulio Cesare and it's by far the best tier 5 battleship at tier 5 uh, her strange it's actually her guns and her movement um, you know she literally turns almost as good as a cruiser sluggish cruiser for a, for a, for a battleship it's absolutely amazing she has pretty damn uh, decent speed with speed flags she will reach above 27 which for tier 5 uh, uh, it's extremely good you really turn good and uh, your guns are breath and butter and for someone who does not know this has one of the best Sigma at tier 5 you aim good you will always be re rewarded plus 10,000 damage or more uh, the guns are extremely good and they hit really hard however in the next patch 0 0.8 this has actually become a uh, I know this is weird guys but it's not a uh, damn strong anymore a matter of fact there are quite a few other tier 5 ships they will perform or shall I say survive uh, uh, later what are you talking about Zera well this is the the thing guys even though you will shall I say not uh, be deleted in instantly in the next patch i do believe it's gonna be uh, annoying as hell and let's talk about her aa her aa it's 35 it's a pretty damn bad uh, in a tier um a five uh, battleship and something else and let's talk about module why i consider this ship uh, Consumer. guys you do only have repair part in heal you do not have the um, uh, catapult fighters she lacks absolutely garbage in AA defense whatsoever in today's lives version the only thing you can do is try to dodge left and right or try to fool the enemy CV to torpedo you and you uh, you know left turn right or and so on but with oncoming rockets and how fast they do respawn um, depend on what tier the CV is but f even tier 4 or tier 6 will harm and probably will not be so damn effective uh, let's face it if a CV can choose between a cruiser or a battleship it will always try to go for a battleship and same thing goes with the destroyer now for the most overpowered destroyer in the whole game at tier 5 ladies and gents may I present the Kamikaze R now the Kamikaze R in my opinion it's one of my to-go ship I love this ship if you are a good destroyer in good hands this is absolutely a monster and what's the most broken with this uh, ship are actually three things three not one three has one of the best concealment with 5.5 kilometers a uh, concealment you'll spot everything and everyone and the torpedo are not from this earth you will torpedo left and right and the torpedo reload within 40 seconds or some depend of your captain build um it's pretty fast extremely maneuverable however guys however in the next patch with every single player in this world will try the new British carrier uh, the oncoming British carrier line uh, everyone will uh, you will face uh, carrier each and every time and um, I'm not saying that this ship it's easy to take down if you're a CV captain however we do those stupid rockets playing the fighters with rockets it's not so damn hard to hit even one of the most stealthiest and maneuverable ship in the entire game but because this thing turns on a dime but even though even though it's extremely maneuverable extremely stealthy the spotter planes will i'm talking about the, the cv will always engage you will always harm you and maybe with those stupid overpower percentage to put your enemy on fire i'm talking about rockets 
most likely you will take damage and use your consumable and burn for a very long time and uh, the worst thing guys even though the let's say enemy it's completely potato all he needs to do is to spot the uh, enemy dd and the friendly will take care of business especially the cruiser so same thing goes here guys you have the best stealth in this game however as long as there's no cvs or aircraft carry in the game when there are in each and every battle maybe two cvs then percentage that you will be spotted it's extremely and by the way guys this is has only seven kilometers tall which basically you have to be within from 5.5 to 7 kilometers away uh, to your enemy and yeah good luck be not spotted uh, when you are so damn close and for the third one guys this is the most overpowered broken tier 5 destroyer in this game by far and now let's talk about the most overpowered cruiser in this game by far i'm talking about today's live version and ladies and gents may i present hms belfast so what's so special with ba Belfast? She has too many tools and one of the most ridiculous um, it's actually the concealment expert in tier 7 ship. Uh, yeah. All that combined this ladies and gents she has like what 8.5 kilometers in, in concealment one of the best tier 7 concealment in this game but what it's so damn scary in today's live version it's that she has radar, hydro, and HE, and um, extremely good uh, fast rate of fire. She has too many tools to take you down. Um, uh, destroyer. She is basically a destroyer killer. That's what she is with all those tools. Um, however, she can definitely be a um, HE spammer monster with fast reload. And she can afford to come as close as she wants uh, because she has smoke and she has hydro and she has radar so the only thing she does not have heal and torps but trust me what I'm gonna say right now in the next patch this will be a very mech ship I explain you why she does not have a, a consumable I'm not saying that this ship have any bad A58 without captain point. Maybe you can uh, spec your AA and it will be pretty decent. But once again guys, this ship does not have AA defense. And I kind of forgot, she will lose 2% in concealment. All cruisers will lose 2%. All battleships will lose 4% and all... Uh, CV captain will lose 6% versus l today's live server. Uh, she, she's probably gonna be fine in the smoke. I don't know. Some good um, CV captain can actually blind find the smoke. I actually killed one um, human, dis uh, human destroyer captain. He was firing his uh, guns and with my rocket it's actually pretty damn easy to know your position in the damn smoke and aim for the uh if you use your guns in the smoke that's what i'm trying to say so uh i do believe her power it's more or less gone and um sure you have the best stealth but when your smoke is, is gone and the cv is targeting you you cannot panic the planes you cannot do a damn thing sure you may might put uh, down some planes but overall, if a CV captain wants you dead, there's not much you can do. Uh, and especially versus tier 8 uh, carrier with much larger HP pool. And that is the lack of the AA defense. Now, very fast, I would like to say uh, there is um, another premium tier 7 ship that I consider in the near future uh, be even stronger than today's. And let's go to USS... Where are you, USS? Indianapolis. Indianapolis, it's... Uh, many consider she kind of a weak and so on. But guys, let me 
would the difference between Belfast and um, uh, this ship, US, uh, USS Indianapolis? You have radar on both of them, and this is 9.9 .9 kilometers radar. However, you still have AA defense. I'm not saying that her AA is kind of a wow, but you can, I only have 10 points captain. You can definitely put, you know, a gearing captain or any kind of captain in this premium ship. And uh, you can buff with, you know, modules and uh, Captain Spurk, her AA. But there's one more thing. If, I'm just saying, if the destroyer meta is going down and you're going to see very, very few destroyer captain, maybe I'm just saying to survive and become a AA fleet monster. Yes, a AA fleet monster you can spec from radar to catapult fighter and with those two tools a defense and catapult fighter and uh, 19 points captain and you rebuild for aa let's go talk about upgrades yeah sure you can put the a uh, module maybe i'm just saying maybe to improve your um, a survival and just like that guys from a pretty mech cruiser which takes a lot of hits basically a paper you are becoming close to a AA fleet escort cruiser I will go so far guys and explain you why you see in the next patch guys this consumable I'm talking about the catapult fighter or the best AA defense you can have this catapult fighter is so damn strong if a tier 6 carrier wants to strike you and catapult fighter are active it will literally take down the whole damn squad and remember you still have the AA defense so those two consumable combined uh, catapult fighter with AA you are not a regular cruiser you are a damn monster I'm not saying she has the best AA overall, but if you expect her, you can definitely defend yourself. So, guys, without further ado, let's go to the most hated ship in this game. And for that same reason, guys, we are going to HMS Conquer. Now, the Conquer does not have bad AA, matter of fact, 96. However, you kind of need to stick with other battleship uh, more than ever uh, sitting behind 20, uh, 24 kilometers away from your uh, enemy it will not cut it and the reason why guys it's because this ship is blind as a bat and her consumable or repair party and uh, heal that's all let's go to her sister ship tier 9 you do have the catapult fighter at least and her AA is 91 and of course you can buff this a little bit more but what I'm trying to say guys the most overpower battleship in this game will be not so much overpower when basically guys without saying too much uh, even though you can see here 96 in AA the CV tier 10 will only shit on your AA literally each and every time if they want you dead it you will be dead matter of fact um, they will always engage um, lonely uh, battleship and battleship overall if you know if a CV have to choose between a cruiser, a high tier cruiser, tier 10 cruiser, or a tier 10 battleship, always go for tier 10 battleship. And um, I would like to say from the best in many ways, over, overpower and over, shall I say, um, yeah, overpower sh uh, ship, she will be in the next patch, kind of a Mac ship. Please let me know in a comment below what you think. And some other thing, guys. In the next video, I will very, very short talk about uh, normal cruisers become uh, literally uh, AA monsters. And uh, I will make a special video, guys, in the next uh, uh, about what I think which are to go cruiser, which more or less. I will go so far the the cruiser will rise in the next patch and uh, destroyers will take the uh, hardest hit 
and then the battleships um, and I'll, I'll also like to say guys that because the CV have unlimited planes they will always be one of the last ship going down and you my dear cruiser captain without AA defense I'm talking about many many weak uh, cruisers they kind of uh, will struggle and um, same thing goes with the battleship overall the best battleship like to, uh, let's say you know let's talk about other British battleship like uh, King George V does have catapult fighter of course you may argue the catapult fighter it's strong in that period of time and a smart CV captain will always engage another ship which does not have the uh, catapult fighter uh, active um, but overall I would like to say those battleship without a uh, without catapult fighters are gonna be weaker and just food for a CV and you know the battleship if a smart cap uh, captain always stick with other battleship or help decent AA cruisers and trying to support each other you know and as long you have the catapult fighter available you might defend yourself it's different story when there is a cooldown then you still becoming a uh, you know farming pinata I love this ship I I believe guys I don't know um, many of course every single ship in the game have uh, great strength and the weakness but I kind of feel sorry overall for uh, battleships uh, captain which they will uh, take more hits than anything before and um, probably I'm just saying one advice is to stick close closer to your uh, friendly team uh, than ever that's that's definitely a good advice guys thanks guys for watching I hope uh, you can put a comment below what you think about those most overpowered uh, premium ships and silver ships which in my uh, honestly opinion the next patch won't not be so damn powerful anymore that's all for today subscribe to my channel and i wish you have a good one take care and bye